Welcome to today's video where we're in a partially abandoned rail yard that has an abandoned roundhouse that's collapsed as well as a few other outbuildings that we'll give a quick little gander to. This one doesn't have a whole lot to see. Roof fire collapsed on it. There's a lot more right this way from the roundhouse right here to that office building up there. This section of track right here is obviously pretty overgrown with good foot wide tree growing up through the middle of it. But it's pretty neat that you can still see the old railroad phone box here. In the embankment. Pretty neat. After venturing a little farther in, I found this turntable with about 10 different tracks coming off of it. Pretty amazing how well preserved this one is. It's clearly been a long time since it's moved. The turntable itself is still completely intact, along with the circular rail that goes around the outside that it actually moves on. Look up here, we can see all the rails. I've never seen a turntable that was abandoned in this good of shape. I've seen the pits for the turntable in a lot of places, but I've never seen one where, assuming you cut all the trees, it could still be functional. On top of the turntable, still in very good condition. The light is even in the signal box for the turntable. As we go over here, we can take a look at the controls for the turntable. The big electric motor that spun it. Glass is also pretty intact except for a couple of windows. Amazing condition. Got ourselves one heck of a spider web here. Turntable that we were just talking about is right over there. You got these old inspection pits for the steam locomotives over here. This is where you check all the running gear, all of the grease points, things of those nature. This track runs all the way up to the back of that roundhouse we're gonna go investigate. So now we're in the actual main roundhouse itself. You see most of the roof is collapsed, especially down there. Here there's still some roof. See there's piping in the ground. Each bay had its own set of beautiful wooden and glass doors. This roundhouse has clearly had a fire at some point. I don't know if it was after they stopped using it or it was the reason they stopped using it, but they clearly just never repaired it. In these bays down here, you see inspection pits. That colander would have helped move the smoke out. See the building that we're going into next up there. Another inspection pit. This roundhouse would have had a room for what in my guess would be 15 or 20 locomotives. It's hard to tell because the tracks are not evenly spaced. Head out this door, find ourselves at another turntable that is in amazing condition. So we can count the tracks that go into the roundhouse right here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Looks like about fifteen tracks. Take a look. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen tracks. Pretty incredible. We'll get another look at this turntable. Very similar to the first one. Big electric motor driven. 
beautiful shape considering it's been abandoned for a very long time. This one, exactly the same as the last one. Incredible shape. Walk out on the turntable for this one. Here you can see the signal box, no light bulb in this signal box. But the turntable is just in beautiful condition. You see the area where you would service the turntable. Oops. The piece is a little bit loud. We're right back to where we started on this second turntable. Just doing a quick walk through what would have been the probably shop office for the large roundhouse. Nothing too interesting in there, although when we get in here, we got our Famous toilet check. Toilets are in. Well, we've had better days. We're just kind of caving in on doors a little bit stuck, but they're still there. Toilet paper dispenser there as well. And a sink. The real question is am I going to make my way up the world's shadiest set of stairs? It's possible. Maybe even likely. I don't know. We'll find out. So, after a little further review, we will not, in fact, be going up those stairs. We'll be finding another way into the big building. That is just not an option. Just expended a whole lot of climbing effort to go through the world's shadiest set of stairs from the second floor into a first floor that has nothing. These are sometimes the sad moments you have exploring. Thanks for watching my video on the abandoned turntables. If you want to see what's inside of the big building that we couldn't quite get into, it looks like. Stay tuned for next week. Thanks for watching and have a good day.